I've grilled a lot of pizzas outside on a bunch of different grills so that way it could help you find the right one to make pizza at home. And it's gonna range from an inexpensive charcoal grill all the way up to the high-end Gosney Dome. Gas and pellet grills are by far the most convenient and easy way to make pizza outside at home. And you're gonna be able to make just as good a pizza as you could in your oven, but with one big benefit, that when it's hot outside, the heat is gonna stay outside rather than in your kitchen. And if you have a gas grill, you have everything that you need to make amazing pizza at home, but there's one thing that you need to look for when you're looking at your grill. You wanna make sure that you have at least three burners when you're making pizza, because that allows you to have the outside burners on high to get it hot enough, and then have the inside burner set to low or off, so that way you don't burn the bottom of the crust, but you still get things to cook nice and even. And if you wanna level up your pizza game, all you need is a pizza stone, a cast iron pizza pan, or some pizza steel, and you're gonna get amazing crust. But you also have the additional advantage that that is gonna help regulate the temperature inside of your grill and help things cook really even with an amazing crispy crust. I've also been known to live on the wild side and grill my pizza on the rack directly over high heat, and that can give you some amazing crispy crust and flavor that you wouldn't get normally in a gas grill. More on that technique in just a little bit. And pellet grills are gonna add a little bit more wood-fired flavor than you would get out of a standard gas grill, but that's gonna come at the expense of being able to cook at higher heat, and you won't get as crispy of a crust. Because your standard gas grill should be able to get up to 550 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than enough to get nice crispy crust and golden cheese on top, which is the style that I really like to have. When it comes to a pellet grill, you're gonna use a ton of pellets cooking at the high temperature, and you wanna make sure that your grill can go to at least 500 degrees Fahrenheit for its max temp if you're gonna want to cook pizza on it. Charcoal grills take a little bit more finesse and practice to get them the right temperature ranges for pizza, but you're gonna be rewarded with amazing real wood-fired flavor that you're just not gonna be able to get with a gas or a pellet grill. And the trick on a Weber kettle is to get the pizza as close to the top of the lid as you can without touching. And that's because by moving it away from the fire, it reduces the chances that you're gonna burn the crust. It also puts the pizza at the hottest point of the grill, so that way all of the toppings cook and you get that nice crispy cheese. And if you don't mind cheating just a little bit, you can use a fan controller like the Spider Venom, and it's gonna take all of the guesswork to getting at the higher temperatures that you need for making good pizza on a kettle grill. And if you upgrade to a ceramic Kamado style cooker, making pizza is a snap because this thick ceramic holds in the heat and keeps it really consistent in between making pizzas. Whereas if you were to do the same thing on a kettle grill, you can only lift the lid for a few seconds or you let out a lot of the heat, whereas this one recovers really fast and you can get back to cooking. If I have a bit more time, I'll absolutely use my charcoal grill to make pizza because it maximizes the flavor that you'll get with a standard home style pizza. Not only that, a Weber kettle is super accessible and doesn't take much to turn it into a pizza baking machine. If you wanna move from home style to Neapolitan style pizza, you're gonna to have to have a dedicated pizza oven in order to be able to get a high enough temperatures to get that classic leopard skin crust that classifies this style of pizza. My favorite pizza place has a giant, absolutely giant wood-fired oven. It takes several days to preheat, which is completely impractical for the standard home cook. So enter the new gas-powered home pizza oven that has become a lot more popular recently. There's a lot of big names like Uni that you've probably heard of. This one happens to be from Permasteel. They gave this one to me for free, so that way I could do a how-to video that I published over on Amazon. I've linked to that down below in case you want to check it out. And the biggest benefit of this style of cooker is that they are really convenient, because in less than 20 minutes, you can get up to over 700 degrees Fahrenheit and on to cooking pizza. But there is one drawback, and it is they take a lot of practice and technique. And I really do put an emphasis on practice. The first several pizzas that I cooked in this oven were absolutely burnt on one side, but after a little bit, I was able to get it sorted. And here's some of the things that I learned. So what you wanna look for if you're looking at this kind of a grill is pay really close attention to the size because the wider, the bigger it is, it's gonna be a lot easier to be able to cook that because you're gonna be able to find the perfect spot. You won't have to turn it around as much. You'll also have more room to be able to do it. And that is where the premium, the super premium Gosney Dome comes in. I don't actually have one, but I was invited to be able to cook on one and experiment with it. And of course, I jumped on the opportunity and here's why it might be a good option for you. The first one is it has a heavy ceramic body, so it holds in the heat really well. It also is much bigger than your standard pizza oven, so it gives you lots of room to be able to move things around. It's pretty tall, so you don't have to worry about hitting the lid or you can lift the pizza up a little higher to cook those toppings just a little bit faster. So that wasn't a problem for me. In fact, it was cooking the top a little bit too fast because of the way the flames wrap over the top. It gives you plenty of top heat. So for part of it, we even turned the fire off and we got a little bit better result. 
And even though it was only 40 degrees outside, the inside of the pizza oven was an amazing 850 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hotter than I've been able to get with this one or any other grill that I've used. But if you want to taste the pizza and not the pizza, you can remove the gas power from the Gosney and use wood to get to those same temperatures and maximize that wood flavor. And there are two good ways to maximize flavor. One of them is to direct grill your pizza on a gas grill, and the other is to make your dough at home. And check out this slow ferment recipe.